yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throwing on second and three. Golf. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. He's going to run it down, run the ball. Coming up at halftime. Milk the clock. From one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. There we go. You and Jonathan Coachman both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. They'll look to run in Akers. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams add on to their lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Out for the PAT, here's Sloman. And the lead is now 24. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. <laughs> just destroying them right now <laughs> they only have 40 seconds to do anything I mean they have three timeouts but I'm going to be rushing pass committing so try to shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw and he's going to be dropped following a pick up a 7 past the 30 to the 32 They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the gun, Wilson. Is that Kaiser, or I'm sorry, uh, Kaiser White. I almost said Micah Kaiser. That's Kaiser White. About to put up another touchdown before half. Oh, I love it. Points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because they can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. After the interception, here's gone. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. A chance to really cap off a big See, they're in zone. They come up on first and goal. Could I hit Picard? A shotgun snap for goal. The quick slant caught. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams They're getting just demolished. Van Jefferson as the first half is winding down. And this offense is running away with this one. It's embarrassing. is on here in this first half. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. It's just embarrassing. Hey, defense. Hey, defense. Let's go. Mike 55. Mike 55. Hey, eat, eat, eat. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. <laughs> All right, half over. Come on, Seahawks. You going to put up some points or what? I'm just going to play, like, conservative zone at this point. Make him beat me over the top. Just let them have anything underneath they want. Here's a handoff to Carson to begin the drive. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Taken down at the 33 yard First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They run again with Carson, and he'll be 
taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Check 59. On third down, Carson. He got it. Barely. That's good for a Continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. It might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Seattle, 16 yards. Yeah, first down. Still in search of their first keep, uh, touchdown keep celebrating. Game, but they're on the move. First and ten. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Right back to him for ten more and a first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. They run it with Carson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Oh, man. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Coach is like, what the hell, guys? And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Terrell Lewis in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. That's he ran right into me. Getting to the quarterback, sack number one, and you know they had five last week. I'm remembering. And you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush, not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback, but you show them a lot of different looks, and they did that in the first half. You know, different angles, different things to slow down the speed. They got to him here in the second half. Now they've got to come up with a counter to that and maybe do something different. And he's got Lockett. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Throwing is Wilson. And down Go down again. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Terrell Lewis, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number 7 for him on the year. He's the NFL sack leader coming into the game. And Is that like a failed screen? He's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two. And that was definitely like a failed screen pass. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. They'll try the left side. Massey. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it. But I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off. He'll be hit and take my God, this is just sad. They got to go for it. What's a, what good is a field goal right now? Third and goal, backs against the wall, and they get a monster sack, and now they're going to force him into a field goal. For them, that's a win. Oh my God, they're taking a field goal. What is the point? Seibert sets up for the field goal try. On the left hash mark, this is a 38-yard attempt. Seibert's kick is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. We're kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white flag? The way, I just want to get that. out of here. Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. At their own 23-yard line. 
Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. You now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? Where everything is working for them, every move they make works, it clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. And here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Out of the gun. Gone. Steps away. Yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> Definitely get rid of it. Let's go back to running the ball a little bit here. Something we haven't really seen much of from him. Never mind. Yeah, last week he finished at seventy percent. This week he's up over eighty percent. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback up. That's caught inside the twenty, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Pathetic. His third touchdown of the game, number 11 on the year. And the Rams have got it on cruise control. Look at the deep arcing pass the accuracy. The break. That didn't slow him down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half is getting this done, it's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? Point after, right down the middle. And that will extend this big lead. All right, we're simming the rest. It's 38 to three. We're simming the rest. Even Russell Wilson can't come back from that. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's now, he did put up 17 points. points that they did. Or they I guess he put up four, uh, two touchdowns after we simmed. But. Can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Los Angeles, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 and on the new campaign. And they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, they'll drop down to 1-3. and And fortunately for them, they'll have the early bye next week as they return to action in Week 6. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. All right. Best part is we get to play Seattle again in a couple weeks. Uh, we're going to substitute in McGee.
All right, well, let's keep on trucking. We get to play New York Giants now. Let's see how much of a fight they put up. They're only 83 overall. I think we can... Well, I'm not going to say it, but I think we should be able to handle them. We'll see. Today, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams versus Baker Mayfield and the New York Giants. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. All right, Baker. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. Orchestrating the offense will be the top pick in the 2018 draft, and that's Baker Mayfield. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. What is this, what is this camera view? That one interception, continue to take care of the ball. And maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A good pick up there, a 22. First down. Nicely that done. Was a fun one to watch right there. A nice First play of the game. Plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Uh, I really like Darius Slayton. He's a good receiver. He's a really good receiver. Mayfield now from the 50. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. The numbers in last week's contest for Ingram, eight catches, 71 yards, and a touchdown. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. Able to get seven on that first down pass play, second and three. Uh oh and he'll get it down on the that was the <laughs> that got me six yards the that was a little confusing a first down Ramsey brought him down it's a gain of six first down Giants line of scrimmage the 37 on first and ten and again it's Mayfield gets us out to Saquon Barkley now the result here, a pickup of eight, leaves him with two to go on second down. 
It's a gain of Facing eight. a second and two second after that last eight. catch. Good for eight yards. Yard a first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And they'll be inside Saquon the 25 Barkley now at the 24. The tackle made at the now this is going to be just like the San Francisco game. They're going to go right down the field. Right down the field on me. But in this situation... Give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Oh. That is incomplete. Good play, but man, you could have picked it too. But now it'll be third down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. John Ross. His touchdown. second touchdown on the season. Dude, John Ross Giants sucks. Take it right down and score on the opening drive. But this is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever and ever, and it tells you've gone somewhere, but you really have. You're in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. So. You know, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. No, we could be in for a difficult day if John Ross, of all people, decides to go off on our defense. We might be in some serious trouble, boys. I might as well just pack it up now. Might not even might as well not even play the rest of the game. What do you guys think? These plays suck. On first and ten, gone. Harris has it over the middle. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Now he's going to the locker room. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Value three, value three. We're good, we're good. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Two yards, good enough for a first. A ruptured disc. It looked like he was holding his hand. in the NFL, so when they're that high powered, you gotta find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score. Give yourself, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Brings up second and second and 11 now. 36 yard line. From the gun, here's gone. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Goff throwing complete to Cup. Well, uh, he got it again. Down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. God, I hope you're in man coverage. Goff on first down. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. 
And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Cam Akers, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. All right, defense, let's put on a little bit of better showing than we did the first drive. If we could give up less than seven points, that would be great. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. That catch good for only a couple. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Ooh, good throw. There by Miles Boykin. Good throw. And he's brought down after a very nice game. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal. And the oh. pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off at the 46. I'm the best in the game. I'm the best in the game. Back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. What a pick score. What a play. Now, the Hit as he threw. A little a teleport. Ooh. Shows that they set an aggressive a little bit of a teleport. The run, but hey, I'll take it. But the ball's in the air. That makes up they for that. They that makes up for that bullcrap John Ross touchdown. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Back to it after the pick six, Mayfield. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. And Ingram holds it Well done, well done. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A gain of seven. I think defensively you're first okay down. with that. You're in the New first York. quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage Maybe after the catch. Complete now you put the offense zero. in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick They're up. They're not really running with Saquon much, are they? Out when you do that. First down carry for Barkley. That's probably why. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. That's through one end. quarter, 14 7, our Rams score. 14, Giant 7. Cannot play man coverage against these guys because Evan Ingram and slot. Evan Ingram and a linebacker man coverage will destroy them. Shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's going to take this one across me. 